What are we even doing here? It's tuna time. That's right, it's tuna time with your host, Matthew Carlson. I've got two cans of Ortiz tuna. I've got regular kind? Yeah, I guess it's regular. And I've got Ventresca, which is the belly, the toro, I guess, you know? It's a little fancier, it's a little pricier. Obviously, it comes in a box with a gold trim on it. Um, yeah, we're gonna try them both out at the same time because I don't wanna fool around with a video of just this stuff and then follow up with a video of this stuff. Nobody likes tuna anyway, do they? Don't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you say? Let's open them up. Let's open up the, uh, the first one first, right? Yeah, yeah, begin at the beginning. Ortiz Bonito del Norte in olive oil. Now, uh, Benito del Norte, I guess is an albacore or a white tuna. Uh, it's not like, you know, a bluefin tuna or any other of the jillions of kinds of fish that people call tuna. I'm just gonna open it up here. And um, yeah, you wouldn't just eat tuna like this. But who do you think I am? You know, I'm not gonna cook anything up for you. Okay, taking it out. It looks like very nice tuna, right? Another fish conquers. Delicious. Delicious. I sure wish, you know, this was in a tuna melt or uh, Tuna salad sandwich. What else do you do with tuna? GD. Delicious oil. Good tuna. Tuna is very saturated with the oil. So even though these are like big, you know, oh, pink plate. Even these are, they're kind of big chunks and you kind of get lost in these flakes. Look how big and strong this tuna must have been swimming around. It's, uh, it's still good, you know, once you get to chew in, you're working through some stuff. I'm not going to say it's dry, but, you know, this is big, this is big flesh. Okay, here's some of the soft stuff. I mean, what's going on in this can is I can hardly, you know, distinguish one thing from another or did we get a whole part of something or is there any fat no it's just pretty lean okay okay so that's out of the way let's look at the ventresca and see if we can start to understand some stuff ortiz ventresca bonito del norte in olive oil all right here okay inside of this box. Oh, cool. So actually the tin has some uh, additional printing. That's cool. I mean, it's still just the sailboat. Doesn't say anything about Ventresca on the tin, but whatever, it's cool. Right, so obviously we've got a more put together thing here. And um, these are like just little, I don't know, strips, this stuff. And uh, I'm looking at sort of uh, some of this business that's inside of the meat. I don't know if these are like little fat deposits or whatever, let's find out. Oh yeah. Man, delicious. Okay, this is really good. This is really good. This is what I call fish fish. This is fish that you can kind of start to present as its own thing. It's not an ingredient. This is a uh, getting to be the star of the show here, you know? 
I'm sure in the comments there will be lots of good ideas about how you would actually use this stuff if you weren't just some bonehead eating it out of the can for YouTube. Oh man, it's so, um, these pieces are so big and they're cut so nice and pretty. And you can see like how deliberate like some cut has been, you know? Um, yeah, it almost looks like it's some kind of processed food or something like that, you know? I don't know, like somebody's made some little like weird, weird um, fake, fake turkey strips or something, you know, like uh, my cats eat stuff like that. Mm. Wow, so, you know, I opened these two up because I thought, well, I need to compare them directly. What if it's, what if it's um, not really obvious the difference? Like, what if I, what if I forget what this is like, and then two weeks later when I do this video, you know, it's it's, uh, you know, I I kind of don't know how to compare them. Stupid, stupid of me. I just didn't know. This is really good. Hmm. I got one more can of Ventresca laying around the house here. I think I might just eat it unless um, unless you guys are interested in seeing some more of this. I can't remember what brand it is. It's not like one of the big brands that sells like one of everything, you know. Dang a ring. Okay, 18 bucks, kind of expensive, right? Yeah, yeah, but then good fresh fish is expensive. Wow, and then somebody went to the hassle of putting it in a can and getting it, you know, delivered to you, I guess, too. So, a lot of people kind of mark a fish down because it's been put into a can, you know, and and preserved thus. But I kind of mark it up because it's like, that's, that's a process that somebody did and it's a magical thing that affords me this, uh, this moment with you guys. Because if this was a show about me going down to the fishmonger and like, you know, cooking fish in my kitchen, doing recipes for you guys, That's not a show. Who would do a show like that? Stupid people. It's dumb. Cooking show? Never work. So, you know, hey, if I was like really rich, I would just eat this stuff out of the can, sure. The only thing about it is that, um, you know, uh, the texture gets homogenous after a while. Oh, that was a good piece. You see it kind of wasn't very together. I think that's because it was super fatty. Maybe I can expect the same out of this one. Hmm. Okay, well. You saw me. I tried Ventresca. I loved it. This is really more like the Ventresca review. I think, I think as soon as I opened up this can, I knew I knew what I was dealing with because I think I'd I'd tackled some um, some tuna of a, of the same quality and sort of standing um, previously. I think we did the Eureka tuna, and I liked it, but it was just the same kind of thing where it's like, golly, why didn't why didn't I make this into something? We need some mayonnaise or something. I don't know what I'm talking about. Covered in oil. I'm in a good mood. It's still only about quarter to four here, so I'm ready to party, right? Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.